Alright, it seems that there are even more Witcher 3 easter eggs in Cyberpunk, and so I'm making another video to show you a few of them. Before that, however, make sure to check the playlist in the description for the previous episodes in the series if you've missed any of them. And with that said, let's jump right into the easter eggs. The first one is Shoop the Rock Troll. Most well known for selling card kegs in the standalone Gwent game, but also an actual character in Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Say, Shoop, you've quite the stockpile of kegs. Do you engage in custom, perhaps? No. And so, on the couch of your apartment over here, there is a plush toy, or some other form of toy, which I'm pretty sure represents this troll. Alright, the second one is the Blood and Wine soundtrack. There are a few guitarists around Night City who play a piece of it, specifically the Beast of Beauclair. I believe the easiest one to find is in the Aldecaldos camp, you know, the nomads who help you. There are two musicians here and oftentimes their melodies overlap, but you can still hear it clearly. Sounds pretty good, I think. Now the third, and for this I'll have to thank a viewer by the name of Grievous Reborn, is something that I totally missed, and I think it's kind of hard to notice, but it's there, right on Dexter Deshaun's shoes. I tried to get a good frontal look at it, and I'm not sure how well I managed, but nevertheless, you can tell that there is a slightly smudged School of the Wolf logo on Dexter's shoes. Finally, at number 4, I'd like to mention a few things that may or may not be Witcher 3 easter eggs, but there's certainly some resemblance. First off, the armor you see on some of the elite corpo enemies, specifically their helmets, which somewhat resemble the Nilfgaardian ones. Also, since Nilfgaard is probably the closest thing to a corpo faction, I'd say we may be onto something. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Next up, we have several names of monsters from The Witcher 3 making an appearance. There are Militech vehicles called Basilisk, Manticore, Wyvern, and there may be others. However, all these creatures are not exclusive to The Witcher lore and may simply be references to the real world's mythology, although there may be a small nod to The Witcher in their names as well. And the final one, which actually comes from a viewer again by the name of Zay Sama, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. She showed me this Night City bar, located over here, the name of which is Dandelion Cocktails. Again, it may simply be a reference to the flower, especially seeing as how animal and plant life is not exactly thriving in Cyberpunk, but it could also be a reference to our lovely bard from The Witcher. Yes, those halfling painters, this one of theirs? <laughs> Wonderful. And I suppose I'll also mention the promotional items from GOG, Specifically, a Witcher shirt and jacket, a katana, named after the Black Unicorn Sword, and those are not really easter eggs, but eh, I thought they are worth mentioning anyway. And with that, I think we're done. Let me know if there are any other easter eggs that I'm missing. Actually, I know there's one in the ending, but I haven't reached that far yet. And yeah, that was it. Thank you very much for watching, and for your support, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good.